And hello, everyone. Another great show. In fact, uh, you'll be happy to know that this is the 100th show. What is the new gold? This is the 100th multimedia show. We had many, many before that were on the phone, me driving back and forth back when we were driving around in LA. Again, the world's only vital, scarce, and recession proof market. And that's proving to be true with water rates skyrocketing. I see that that oil is going up because not because of oil is being used more, it's because the US dollar is going down. This is affecting water rates tremendously. And this is a problem, of course, for people. If you're spending more than 4% of your take-home pay every month on water, you can't afford it. A lot of people are in trouble with that. Briefing one number 100, of course, safe harbor statement. And uh, we, we want you to know that we try our very best to tell it like it is, but they are forward-looking statements. Okay, this is a cool interview that I'm going to play here. I'm Tom Marchesello at Origin Clear. I'm the Chief Operating Officer, and we had the pleasure of talking to Jim Davis at Consolidated. I'm Jim Davis with Consolidated Water Solutions. I'm an account manager, and I focus on project work. And we did a project, several projects with PWT, but most recently we did a project where the customer, a mining company, wanted to dewater their tailing storage facility. And we used the pump booster systems that PWT utilizes to feed both ultrafiltration, uh, the first stage reverse osmosis, and the second stage reverse osmosis. We needed a system that would maintain an even pressure and flow going in, even though the uh, day tanks behind them might fluctuate. And we need something reliable that wouldn't trip out. And it's worked very well. They've had no problems with these pump or boost systems. We're really pushing the, the booster pump markets out there. Why is it that you feel this kind of a product really has a great niche in the market, not just for this product, but also other areas? Like, what does it really do for you guys and for your customers? Well, it gives us a way to reliably feed us a certain pressure. And pressure is very important that these systems, like an RO likes to have at least 30 PSI. And, and the ultrafiltration requires a certain amount of pressure to, to push through. And this just smooths out the, the operation. Everything balances out when you have this even pressure. You don't have tanks going dry and you don't have things tripping out. If you try to put these systems all together without a brake tank, without a, a pump boost system like progressive water treatment makes, you run the risk of tripping out with the slightest pressure variance. And this could be quite irritating if guys have to go out and uh, and two o'clock in the morning and, and reset their system. So uh, we've avoided this by making it a simple and safe system with a good pump boost system. And this, this is uh, the, what the customer has ordered again, which means they're very happy with it. Jim's uh, the engineer on projects. He's the process guy. So Jim and I started working together because we're both process folks. And uh, we started uh, bidding and doing some projects together. We've got a, a really good history, a working history of working together. We are integrators and we do put pieces of equipment together to get a smooth system. And we found that uh, PWT is great at if we need custom work and uh, they've been a great partner to help us with various ancillary systems associated with these total systems. We've really appreciated the support. We've had real good success, a real good quality and, and their ability to help us integrate things is, is greatly appreciated. A, a kind of a niche that we've also developed that we've worked with you on, Jim is uh, a number of containerized systems. Yeah, containerized systems are very important, uh, both to these, uh, what you call mine remediation companies that go in and take care of something for them, and also for the mining companies themselves to move things around when, they, when their needs change. So yes, containerized systems are, are coming on as uh, you know, something that the customer is looking for. That's fantastic. Thanks a bunch, Jim. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Okay, the, the reason I'm playing that is because uh, we don't talk a lot about the capabilities of our guys in Texas. It's very rare that we can get an organization like Consolidated to speak up publicly about the work that's done. It's a, actually a huge thing. And so it's very, very meaningful. We're honored by it. We have the gentleman who's investing, we believe $2 million in this fund or first investment is at the airport. He's about to board. We're trying to get him on board. He doesn't have the link. It's all this exciting stuff. Hey, Alfredo, estás en el aeropuerto. Hi. Yes. Good night. Good night. Sorry. I, I tested 10, 10, 10 times for, for COVID. Uh, sorry. Uh, no problem. I'm right now. And one no hour is, the flight is open right now. Okay? Estoy muy feliz que, que estás en, le, en esta entrevista. Gracias. Uh, Ivan, 
is joining us with the yes. wonderful Bella, who's uh, <laughs> this is fun stuff for you. Now, go back a little bit, come closer, go back, yeah. come closer. <laughs> hola, hola. Hi, Ivan. Hi, good come night. back, come back. <laughs> okay. That's very. That's... Uh, uh, I, I explain. I explain at the, at the other because I don't have more time, right? My name is Alfredo Watto. I have 66 years old. I am an accountant from the Buenos Aires University, MBA, Argentina University, UCA, or Catholic uh, University, and Master in Social Policy in University of Buenos Aires, right? Right. You, you want to live? Yes, take care of the water. You love your life, conserve the water. Now, Origin Claire is my principal partner. It's the main partner because I love live. The main risk is my life, not my money. Money is a consequence. The water is the real um, energy for all situations. This is my sentence in my opinion. Because for this consequence, I put my money in Origin and Claire. We are honored. And the future. We are okay. honored. Okay. Es un honor. Uh, Mil gracias. And I want to say that Alfredo and his partners have decided to make the first multi million dollar investment into Origin Clear Financial to fund water projects. I will be talking about that. I want to introduce also Omar Paoloni here. What is your relation to Ivan and Bella? La emoción lo embarga a Alfredo y él le pone mucha pasión a todo esto. He has a lot of passion, that's for sure. Yeah. So, Omar, so Ivan, tell us who Omar is in relation to you and to Alfredo. Okay, so um, Omar is a, an ambassador in, um, in, in Philanthro Investors, actually. And he has been ambassadoring for, you know, for many years, since 2017 or so very successfully for Equity and Help, which is my real estate philanthropy investing firm. And he was one day, you know, going through LinkedIn and contacts and he actually reached Alfredo, like I will say one year ago or so. And that's how they met. And Omar got excited very much with, the, with all the, the, the water philanthropy investing projects. And what is his personal relationship? Oh, Omar is Bella's dad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, That's very I, important. I'm going to to Rick. I'm going to Buenos Aires right now for open the new the new business for crowdfunding for for Equity and Health and Origin Claire. Right. Thank for you. All, for the, the the headquarter for all America. Le agradecemos okay? mucho. Muy Gracias. amable. Gracias. Buen viaje. Gracias. He's Voy a hacer muchos goles. <laughs> muchos goles. Exacto. Lots of goals. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Buen viaje, Sorry. señor. I, I don't have more time. Sorry. Ciao. Good night. Good night. Good night, Alfredo. Good night, Alfredo. Good night, Alfredo. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're going to continue the show. So thank you all. I'm going to share screen again. And this is from yesterday's uh, show that I gave on Emerging Growth. And it's, uh, I just take a small part of it. I think it's worth playing. Watch this. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about uh, emerging things that are happening in the company beyond this presentation. And that is that the whole concept of water on demand is now becoming the sole focus of Origin Clear. And in the weeks to come, you will see the Origin Clear site really specialize on making it possible for end users to get water systems without having to come up with capital. And that's extremely exciting. Um, it's a direction that the entire water industry is moving in. We believe we're a pioneer. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So Anna, how did you like it? Loved it. Sorry, my internet, I lost my internet. I just got back on. Oh, well then. But we do have some questions for you, Riggs. Oh, good. Because I was going to start the entire presentation again for you. No, no, we're all good. <laughs> So, so some of these might be redundant, but these are the questions from our attendees. Um, currently, how many systems do you have out there now? Oh, well, you know, Progressive Water, as I say, has been in business for 25 years. So, you know, it's into the thousands by now. Um, 
you know, I just at a guess, we install maybe we do systems between fifty thousand and two million dollars. Um, you know, the biggest we did was uh, a system for Excel Energy up north, um, but in that range, we do maybe twenty or thirty of these um, every month. So that gives you a scale of what we do. Now these are conventional engineered solutions. You know, I I need a system for blah blah, and then we talk to them for months and months and months and months and months and months, and then they pay and they install it. It's called design and built. Now the last part of it is own and operate, design, build, own and operate. So what I've been talking to you about is really where we also own and operate. So when somebody comes to us, I need a so and so and so, fine, no problem. Instead of talking for months and trying to get the capital deal done and you know bid, or bidding with others, we've taken care of it. So just sign here, and you'll pay by the gallon. And that's a that turns us from a salesperson into a white knight, and that's the exciting new thing. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right there because it, it's it's exciting and different and fun and all that good stuff. But um, we have a show and we want to keep things going for you. Let's talk a little bit about what I was just talking about. Uh, building from engin uh, engineered engineered solutions and on up from there. So coming back to the, my PowerPoint, here we go. So we start with our engineered solutions. That's our progressive water treatment team in Texas. And to that, we add modular water systems, which is the roll-in, roll-out portable prefab systems that make it possible for us to do this water on demand. We add decentralized finance, origin clear finance. You just heard from Mr. Guato, who he and his partners are contributing multiple millions of dollars to the fund as we speak. I'll be talking a bit more about that. We will fund progressive water treatment systems. We will fund modular water systems. We will also later do it with outside water companies, right? And this is something called managed services in the uh, water industry. It's called DBOO. Let me uh, tell you what that's about. Design and build, that's what we do already. You want a, a system, we charge you, we deliver it, we walk away. But the rich model in the business is own and operate. And to do all four is the ultimate. Now, not a lot of companies are able to do it. Why? Because own means money. A lot of people do DBOO where somebody like the, the government owns it or whatever, but a true DBOO is where you own it. All right. Now, I, met, I was talking last week about Watercoin. First, we've decided strategically, let's focus on building this finance group. It, it needs to be done properly, it needs to be profitable, it needs to grow fast, and we don't want to do too much at once. So Watercoin is very much in our roadmap, but later on. Okay, now quickly, again, broken infrastructure. You've seen this slide before. One in three people globally don't have access to safe water. There is technology. It's not happening. Water rates are growing. In fact, this is what the water rates are looking like. It's horrendous, much faster than food and inflation itself. So that is a big problem. And uh, you know, there's this case history by a sister company in the industry called Cambrian Innovation, which installed the system. By the way, they financed it. So the brewery, Russian River Brewery did not have to pay up front. This is the model that works, but it paid because sewage rates are so high. And so, he makes it right clear is that you've got a problem with a high fees for wastewater, lots of regulations and water supply restrictions. And that's, I'm emphasizing that point. Uh, you may not get all the water you want, so you better maybe do some recycling. That's what it's all about. So this is the model that's growing. Water is a risk that smart managers will outsource and inflation is gonna get far worse as we enter these inflationary times. Look at oil just hit $69 a barrel. That should not be, given that so, so little oil is being used. It should be down in the 20s still. It's the dollar. Okay. Uh, it means that you need to make money on money, and this is where you need to be with, a, with an asset that it too is inflating. Now, outsourcing through what we call water on demand means that these companies do not have to worry about the problem, financing it or managing it. Now, municipalities are in trouble. Federal government is paying almost nothing of their cost and they're falling apart. And 85% of all government water treatment plants are small and they are the ones who fail. So Michigan, Compton, California, many others. All right, 
In short, water on demand, water outsourcing through managed services is very, very needed. Just like, you know, uh, you have your internet service provider does your website. You don't have a server in your back room doing your website. Web, your website. It's managed by professionals using what's called a service level agreement. Okay, here's our plan then. It is to build a new asset class of water. It's a commodity with always increasing demand and our new fund enables us to fund, outsource, manage services, water on demand, and water is an essential commodity, we believe. Okay, now I want to quick, I'm going to show you what we, uh, we're bringing in a team. In fact, we're launching a, uh, resources to do this, to set up, fund, and operate at Origin Clear Finance, and is to fur furnish water equipment on a rental or pay-as-you-go basis. And I'm going to quickly show you the scope of work. Um, this is what this resource is there to do, basically to do the heavy lifting on these investments. You saw Alfredo Guato has made and his team and his group have made a commitment. Well, that commitment hasn't happened. It needs to be made to happen. And I want to make, make that very, very clear that it is not a done deal. So that needs to go in, a lot of due diligence, administration, legal work, et cetera. The contracts with the managed services develop the playbook for water on demand approve or reject the, you know, basically, you know, companies know how to do it or they don't. It's, it's uh, separates the men's from the boys, as they say, although that's rather a sexist way to put it, but nonetheless, you want to be competent. Managed services means that you're maintaining a level of water quality in that distant water treatment situation at that brewery or whatever, and you have to control it remotely. And if you don't, you don't get paid. And that is a very important service level agreement to maintain. All right. And so, of course, this is the playbook for this resource. All right. So moving on here, uh, I wanted to mention how we have the incredibly brilliant Ken Berenger, who uh, is working closely with me on this. He has been for, you know, three years now. And uh, a year ago, during the beginning of COVID, we went into high speed growth on this. And it has been very rewarding. We are starting to really take off and uh, we're seeing you know, excellent funding, major capital coming in. We are really starting to become a player and who to thunk, who to thunk. Next week, I'll be discussing more about the fund building, more, more details, and we're gonna get very, very specific. So that is what it's all about. So to come back to what you know, what propels us in all this. I, in yesterday's conference, um, and if, if you're tuned in to, the, to my um, CEO updates, you'll get a link to it. At the very end, Anna asked me to just give my thoughts. And this is what it's all about. I came out of high tech, Tom Marcicello came out of high tech and high-end finance. We have a lot of high-end finance people, Ivan Ans, et cetera. We all are accustomed to fast moving execution. The water industry, it's time for it to accelerate. We're not going to wait another 10 years to do this. This 2021 is our year. You're going to see some amazing things happen. And as we build the assets in the fund, that's important. It's, without that, we can't get on the NASDAQ. So that's a critical part of the picture is building the asset base. You'll be seeing all that. Stay tuned. It's going to be a fun road ahead. I'm having more and more fun as I go. Thank you all for joining, for listening in, um, and for listening to Alfredo Guato on his way to the airport. He is, a, you know, look, he and his partners have a wonderful plot of land and development in Port St. Lucie. Apparently the valuation is $2 million and we have to verify everything. But for him to dedicate that to Origin Clear Finance is an amazing statement of his loyalty and support. And frankly, Ivan Ans, who, who is you know the Inc. 500 leader of equity and help that he is actually doing this recommending and has himself and Bella, his wife, have also brought real estate into this company to turn into assets. These are amazing votes of confidence. I am so thankful for what you're doing because my dream, Ken's dream, Tom's dream, Dan Early's dream, Mark Stevens, all of us, it's coming together with your help and we are so grateful. So again, thank you very, very much. It's been wonderful. Have a great evening. Join me next week. I promise you more fantastic information. Things are moving very quickly. Have a great weekend, everyone. Music